Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you how to remove and replace serpentine belt. Okay, and pulleys if you need to replace them on Mercedes W163, ML320, probably 350 as well. So we're doing quite a few repair guys. Repairs you can see, transmissions, radiators, everything is here in the shop in pieces. But we have a good angle now guys to show you the, the belt diagram, how you can remove it, how you need to replace it. Uh, it won't be as simple when the car is not apart, but we have the opportunity to shoot the video now because otherwise we cannot get the camera in there and it's almost impossible to show it. So that's the tensioner pulley guys. Some of those differ some. Uh, and they have a different spot where you can uh, get the pressure of the pulley. This one you have to go on the boat right here with the reverse, reverse torques, okay, E10. Okay, like that on top of the boat there. And you're gonna go like that you can see and it releases the pressure of the belt now you can go ahead go ahead and pull the belt like that okay and you can just remove it that way okay we're gonna go pull it like that you can see and after that uh, we will show you how to install it again it won't be as easy as it is now on the car but it's doable and it will probably take you about 10-15 minutes. That's the belt, pretty long belt you can see. Uh, we don't have, we have some numbers but they're very vague so I don't think we'll be able to show it's original Mercedes belt. So when you're, when you're ready to install it guys, uh, let us show you now how to install it, how it goes there. Okay, you can see from the crankshaft it goes to the AC compressor then to the power steering pump, the tensioner pulley there, okay next it's gonna go to the alternator from the uh, water pump to the alternator and we have this one here as well on top, so if you need to replace a pulley, super simple guys, now that's the time to do it, you go clockwise this time, uh, uh, counterclockwise, excuse us, okay, and it's going to release the pressure, get it on the, okay, on the alternator, and now on top there as well okay just like that you need to make sure it goes in all the grooves everything is lining up good before you let go start the car when you're done with it and make sure it's where it's supposed to be because if it's not uh, aligning really good it's gonna come off and you will overheat the engine guys so that will be the whole video thank you guys for watching see you next time